Hey everybody, Wanna Weasem here. It is Monday, November 10th, 2014. Very early in the morning, I'd say probably like 2.20 something, 2.30. That said, I am finally at long last just about completely done unboxing everything that I have that has been backlogged since the launch of Skylanders Trap Team. Uh, you may have good luck opening these things up, tearing into them, uh, playing with them, but when you actually take the time to actually document them by way of video and stats and uh, all the stuff I do behind the scenes, it takes a lot of time. Uh, doesn't help when your computer gets a virus, but nonetheless, this is something I have saved. I've actually uh, kind of used it in game, but uh, that's another story for another day. Uh, what this actually is, this is my very first triple pack uh, for Skylanders Trap Team. Ordinarily, I... In all honesty, the reason I prefer single packs is they're better to unbox and document. Uh, case in point, if there was a Blade single pack right now, um, actually if there was, I would not have this triple pack, I don't think. But uh, nonetheless, I just kind of like to do it character by character, not get them all three buried together. Uh, back in the day, I would do this because, you know, it was... Uh, cheaper and it still is but it's cotton to a point it gets really hard to find the triple packs some of them i have never seen that goes back to uh, giants and the squad force but uh nonetheless how did i get this i got this on launch from toys r us i guess their price 25.99 but what i did uh blades is one of my most anticipated uh, new landers and trap team actually the air element between him and fling kong that actually stands as my most anticipated uh duo of new landers if you will so uh shocking uh perhaps to some but uh, i think those two characters very very cool aesthetically uh he is in the early running for one of my personal favorites we'll have to see how it pans out in the long run but what i did uh legendary blades did he make it here he is He's off to this side. Uh, if you recall, we unboxed him. He came in the Nightmare Express Adventure Pack. The catch is, Toys R Us has an exclusive uh, Nightmare Express Adventure Pack, which includes Legendary Blades. And something else that I can't talk about uh, for reasons I don't want to mention. Um, I'll come back to that in a little bit. But uh, what I did, I had that. I knew I wanted it. Mirror Mystery wasn't out just yet. And so what I coupled with it... Obviously, you could do anything of lesser value to get to 40%, but then you're kind of leaving some cash on the table, and I don't like doing that, so I popped for this. Why did I do that? Uh, quite simple, number one, Blades, and number two, Tidal Wave Gilgrun. And I know what you're thinking, you're sitting there saying, wait, you've, you've already introduced him, you've upgraded him, what's the deal? Well, you can read the characters through the plastic, that's why some people never unbox them, but uh, the one that I was using primarily for all of that is the single pack title way of Gilgrun. I actually have a hunch that this thing might be like eventually very very hard to come by. Uh, I have no way of knowing if that'll you know pan out or be true but I don't want to unbox this. It's the only series 4 from Trap Team so it's kind of like a monumental uh, milestone packaging type deal so uh, I'm going to keep him sealed and this way I'll have a loose tidal wave Gilgrunt as if I don't have enough Gilgrunts and then we've got uh, Eon's Elite Gilgrunt coming later uh, I didn't even bother to bring out the back stash of Gilgrunts and then we got this guy over here too <laughs> which ironically that is my favorite pose of Gilgrunt to date uh, his Series 2 one from Giants but that's the uh, limited one that was the Toys R Us Swap Force $100 plus spending spree day of promotion last year so nonetheless back to that that is why i have this i coupled it with the legendary uh nightmare express adventure pack so my main draw of course was blades here and like i said that would get this guy loose not that i i wish it would have been a different character like another new lander but it is what it is why am i not talking about torch because i've already unboxed her and i have her single pack open so my thoughts here this torch will allow me to go down her second path and uh, I could potentially do a custom paint. So that's my logic on the whole deal. But $24.99, normal stores, Toys R Us, $25, but they usually have a sweet promo for you. Now, what's included? Blades, Air Element Newlander, Torch, Fire Element Newlander, and Tidal Wave Gilgrunt, Water Element, Old Guard, Series 4. Again, he is the only Series 4 in the game. So uh, he does have the Buddy Pack at Walmart. 
You know how I feel about Walmart. I have honestly not been in Walmart since Trap Team came out, and I've loved every minute of it. Uh, prior to that, I can't even think of the last time I was in that store. So, it's nothing against Walmart. It's just that it's always crowded, and I hate crowds. So that's my logic. I know some people boycott it for different reasons. I could care less about the low prices. Actually, I care about that. I just don't like being around that many people. Uh, I'd rather pay like the extra 11 cents at Target and deal with like a 50th of the, you know, number of people inside. But enough on that. Uh, Skylanders Trap Team. Like I said, this is my first triple pack, uh, so it's kind of exciting. There's Tidal Wave Gilgrun in your hand on the portal in the game. And again, that is his super sweet new Wow Pal, Ride the Leviathan. I think that is my favorite Wow Pal of his thus far. Coming down, we have got Blades. There's the character, again, Newlander. He will only work in Trap Team at this point. Uh, that is the in-game artwork. And again, I think he looks freaking awesome. Uh, here is Torch. There's her inset artwork. And again, Newlander from the Fire Element, only in Trap Team. And then you've got that crazy old Gilgrun over here riding the Leviathan Series 4. Check, 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 check. You have got him compatible. If for some reason Trap Team is the first installment in the franchise you have picked up, you can buy this triple pack and you could take Tidal Wave Gilgrunt and you could go out and buy Swap Force Giants and SSA and you would be able to play Tidal Wave Gilgrunt and all four games. So pretty cool deal. Again, Series 4, and this is kind of unique as well because like I said, he's the only Series 4. I realize we've got some characters back in mini form, uh, Spry, uh, Terabyte, etc. come to mind. But uh, the thing is, you know, that's that's mini slash sidekicks, and this is the only dedicated series for. So, uh, back and better than ever, he's got the new Wow Pal. Oh, uh, coming down here, we've got featured characters Wildfire, Torch, Hogwild, Rhino, and Wee Ruptor, Lobstar. Uh, I really like his aesthetics as well. Echo, Tidal Wave, Gilgrim, and Thumpling. You got Gusto, Blades, Full Blast, Jetpack, and Breeze. And then, of course, you got Wallop, Fist Bump, Rocky Roll, and Bop. Uh, very excited about Rocky Roll as well. That said, what did I do with the knife? I folded it up and put it on the far reaches of the pool table. Uh, let's see. I don't really have long fingernails, but we'll do our test. Uh, for those of you, I'll tell you right now, I'll mention it in the description too. For those of you that came here to maybe see Torch, uh, please watch my standalone video on Torch. It goes into my usual ridiculous detail, and uh, I think you will enjoy it. So that's it. There's the packaging, and there goes the packaging. <laughs> that was a nice throw, by the way. Cool thing here, this is not taped, and I love that because if you're into uh, storage, Power A, shoe boxes, posters, whatever you do with these, you can actually cut these out really easy and without the tape. It's one less thing you have to worry about. Uh, that said, I have no need for it, so we toss it aside as well. Uh, the triple packs are a little bit awkward compared to the single packs. What I like to do is the same concept. I break these down. It's actually going to be easier for me to get the uh, figures out and then deal with the cards. So what I like to do is you don't want to grab blades by the tail. It's sharp. Uh, or the wings. Uh, what I like to do is just kind of work the plastic and grab the base. As you can see, pops out super easy that way. Uh, here is Miss Torch. She's a bit hot to handle. And of course, here is Gilgrunt. So we'll take a detailed look at those guys in just a second. But in addition to the figures we just pulled out, uh, shockingly easily, might I add, you get the stat card and a sticker sheet with a web code. I'm going to pull each one of these out one by one and then we'll kind of cover them uh, in sequence. And again, my apologies, you know, I'm not like leaving Torch out, it's just that will save me, you know, like a good chunk of time. And uh, she's already got a video, so it's kind of going to be a little bit redundant. But uh, Torch, that is what her artwork looks like on the card. Her stats, 130 out of 250 for strength, uh, 70 of 250 for armor, 110 of 250 for agility, and 40 of 250 for luck. Add all that up and we have got... 200, 300, 350 out of 1,000. Her sticker sheet looks like so, obviously mimics that. Uh, then below there you got the name tag, QR code, and web code. Quick look at her figure, just because she is in there. And uh, I don't know, I'm trying to right now conceptualize what I may do uh, paint-wise to this one. But uh, if I come up with something cool, uh, you may see that one done up. That said, what I want to do first is dive into, that was a good one, uh, dive into uh, Tidal Wave Gilgrim. This actually looks way better out of the packaging, I figured it would, but uh, this is reminiscent to me 
of uh, Big Bang Trigger Happy, our Series 3 Triggs from uh, Skylander Swap Force, where he's riding the bomb, and then of course he had, you know, a Springtime Trigger Happy spinoff of that. But this is his Wow Pal. This pose is basically built around Series 4 Gilgrunt in his brand new Wow Pal. The Wow Pal, of course, is Ride the Leviathan. It is crazy powerful. If you need to see how crazy powerful it is, check out my upgrade video for Series 4 Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. But uh, he's kind of in his standard SSA trim here. He's got you know the slimline water packs hasn't evolved them just yet it looks like uh, and then of course you've got the leviathan spawning up oh my <laughs> yeah. he basically uh, you know does that type of a thing on the screen uh, which is basically looks like what he is doing here uh, so very well done on the aesthetics of it his colors are great the leviathan looks good here is the Aqua Axe. You can kind of compare the uh, blues there, the translucent. Again, it looks a little bit better on the Leviathan for the simple fact it's a more dense, uh, more material, so it's kind of a darker color. At least in my opinion, it looks better. But uh, like I said, Gilgrunt in the standard form. Interesting thing here, he doesn't have the Anchor Cannon. Uh, so it's kind of one of those poses where he's not touting it. And again, my personal favorite is this one here. Uh, the Series 2, which you can't really tell until you get it out, but he's got the jetpack there. This is obviously more like, uh, look at that, that's great quality to his RS. But uh, this is more like the Water Weaver, and uh, then of course you see the Harpoon Gun there. Uh, his Series 3 pose, um, it was basically where he had the uh, giant anchor cannon that was gold. But this one's actually aesthetically pleasing to me. The colors on Gilgren are bright and happy, he's got the yellow eyes, the Leviathan is pretty cool. Uh, his stats in game, let me go ahead and cover those for you. 270 max health, speed of 50, armor again pretty low at 6, and critical hit 50, elemental power 25. The stats on the card, because we're going to cover what is included power 120 of 250, armor 40 of 250, speed agility 40 of 250, I'm sorry, 80, 120, 80, 40, I don't know what I said. And uh, luck 110 of 250. So add all that up, and we've got 200, 240, 350 of 1,000. So he matches uh, perfectly stat wise with what you see on Torch. Behind that, you've got the artwork there on the sticker sheet. You can put that on your collector, poster, storage cases, whatever. And then more importantly, you got the name tag. So uh, behind that, QR code and web code. And again, I want to highlight down here since this is the only one right there in the bottom corner, it is Series 4. Tidal Wave Gilgrunt. So, and that is actually the icon there is Gilgrunt. So, just like you saw Trigger Happy and Prism Break as icons, I guess in the future, say in the next installment, Spyro is back with a dedicated Series 4. I assume Gilgrunt will be like the little feature guy. So, something of note for Gilgrunt fans. That said, real quick, we will cover his tragic background story yet again. Uh, Gil Gilgrunt was a brave soul who joined the Gilman military in search of adventure. While journeying through uh, a misty lagoon in the clouds, he met an enchanting mermaid. He vowed to return to her after his tour. Keeping his promise, he came back to the lagoon years later, only to learn a nasty band of pirates had kidnapped the mermaid. Heartbroken, Gilgrunt began searching all over Skylands. Though he had yet to find her, he joined the Skylanders to help protect others from such evil, while still keeping an ever-watchful eye for the beautiful mermaid and the pirates who took her. So, very sad story with Gilgrunt, and uh, hopefully there's resolution to that someday. Uh, he finds out that the mermaid, uh, I don't know, uh, I was going to say something I probably shouldn't. Uh, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, his slogan, of course, fear the fish if you've forgotten. But uh, again, I already know all his upgrades is like the back of my hand. And most importantly, I know about the new Wow Pow, which is awesome. Once again, check out that uh, introduction and upgrade video on him. So we will set him down. And uh, I will turn the pages here to Blades. And the cool thing here, I'm using the uh, a pack of Skylanders gummies as a bookmarker. Uh, that's how I rolled. That pack was kind of disappointing. It had three Chaoses, uh, I think t three Jetvacs, and two Eruptors. Uh, no Gilgrunts and no Chompies, which Chompies and Gilgrunt pretty much the best flavors I am. Uh, that said, before we come in here, uh, take a detailed look at Blade. I guess we'll do that. We'll just follow the same format. This is Blades, and he looks awesome. Again, aesthetically, this guy is just spot on. Um, Obviously, you've seen his legendary pose, which 
This is what I did with it. Here the two are side by side. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not in general a fan of the legendary color scheme. Some characters it looks decent on. Uh, he is one of the characters it looks horrible. Uh, if I didn't have blades here, you might say, oh, that's not too shabby for legendary. But when you put his standard uh, character beside the legendary, uh, this looks anything but legendary. So that's kind of a bummer. The good news is he's got the stat boost, but uh, we'll set him somewhere. I guess just here in the middle of the traps. <laughs> and, uh, I have to say, though, this is just an awesome... Uh, two day out of what I have so far for Trap Team, I think this is probably the most impressive uh, Newlander aesthetically. The colors are awesome. They look like stuff I would use. Uh, they tie in together well. It's a unique color combination we haven't seen. It makes sense for the character. Uh, you've got the blue here that is very, very similar uh, to Gilgrunt's. Uh, you can tell it's a little bit darker if you were to take this shade of blue on Gilgrunt and mix in a little pop fizz blue. I think you would come up with the uh, basically color uh, for the majority of blades there is at least I guess skin features if you will. Thing that I really like though is the not the dark blue there. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit darker. It's almost like the legendary colorations you know on the helmet in there. I like the way the silver trims it matches these two shades of blue perfectly. You got the cufflings, the chest plate there. That shot there though kind of shows it. As you see these broader areas, it almost looks like my legendary metallic blue terrapin. Which where in the world is he? Uh, you probably see him and think I'm an idiot. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is one of my custom paints, one of my favorites. Uh, series two Terrapin, of course, from the Giant series, and uh, you can see that the colors match very closely, in particularly the blue. Obviously, I like this blue. It's my legendary color, and I tend to paint some of my favorite characters that I can acquire extras of in that same manner, make my own legendary line, if you will. And uh, I have to say, Blades just aesthetically is pretty much king of the hill right now in my opinion uh that may change i'll do my final ranks at some point in time but so far uh just very 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 uh well done in my opinion some of you may hate him but to me he looks awesome again just you got basically kind of like the metallic blue a little dark kind of like navy that's probably the same shade just in different light but uh you got the silver that really does look metallic and what I mean by that is not like metal flake in the paint, but I mean it really does look like a sword. Uh, and then of course you've got kind of that same blade look right there. You're almost afraid to touch it, but uh, luckily I know it's not sharp. I guess you could. I don't think you could. It's not going to break my skin. I've got too many calluses and stuff. But uh, detail on the underside is awesome. Again, he's air elements. So you've got the clouds. You've got the red base to indicate he is from Trap Team. And like I said, man, to me... I know some of you prefer purples, reds, and golds, etc. But to me, this is just a super awesome color combination. And that's probably part of what drew me into him, just his aesthetics. And uh, so far in game, I've used Legendary Blades quite a bit, particularly off camera. But uh, pretty big fan of his thus far. So uh, I hadn't heard a lot of people chattering about him. They seem to go on about other things. But to me... Very, very cool character. Now, in addition to this super sweet aesthetic figure of Blades, you get the stat card and the sticker sheet. Uh, the sticker sheet, there's his artwork, obviously matches what you see on the card. Uh, you can put that on your collection poster, shoe boxes, power ace, stackable tackle boxes, whatever. There's the name tag, Blades, you got a QR code and a web code. His card stats, let's come in here and crunch these numbers. Power, we'll use the uh, sword here as a pointer. There we go. And, uh, we've got 50 of 250, armor 120 of 250, speed agility 120 of 250, luck 60 of 250. Add all that up, and if you were a guessing person, you might think 350, and that would be correct. So, 350 out of 1,000 on the cards. Just for comparison's sake, his in-game stats, max health is going to be sitting at 280, speed 60, armor 30, critical hit 10, and of course, elemental power, box stock 25. So, what we will do now is cover his background story. Blades came from a long line of dragons, which that sounds eerily familiar. Uh, it kind of sounds similar to Spyro's story, if you will. But Blades came from a long line of dragons that guarded the dungeon of Scalos Castle, 
where the golden fear serpent slumbered for a century. Although it was considered an honor, Blades dreamed of becoming a knight so he could go on adventures in faraway lands. And again, that stuff right there, very well done on the background story in my opinion. But one evening, a deafening roar shook the castle and a wave of fear swept over it. The serpent had awoken. Fighting his fear with each step, Blades descended into the chamber. As he entered, the golden beast grinned and made Blades an offer. He would leave the kingdom unharmed and slumber for another hundred years, as long as Blades agreed to remain in the dungeon for eternity. Knowing the safety of the kingdom was more important than his ambition, Blades accepted the offer. Then suddenly the fear was gone and the serpent vanished, for it turned out the only way to defeat the serpent was to confront his fear. News of his bravery soon found its way to Master Eon, who came to see Blades at once and made him a Skylander. So, awesome pose, awesome color schemes, great aesthetics overall, awesome background story, pretty nice stats, and I cannot wait to get this guy upgraded and see how things pan out. Now again, if you happen to like Blades, you can run by Toys R Us and pick up Legendary Blades. Sadly, unlike Legendary Deja Vu, which you can see right there uh, beside her standard counterpart Deja Vu, Legendary Blades is only available in the Adventure Pack. Uh, you also have the Legendary Hand of Fate. Uh, the other items in the Adventure Pack are kind of standard run-of-the-mill stuff. It's kind of depending on what you prefer. Obviously, if you like the aesthetics of this guy better, uh, you would might maybe be inclined to pick up the standard AP. If you are a big fan of the legendaries or like their stat boost or just want it because you think it'll be more rare or something, this is the route you would want to go. However, uh, what I did, I wanted both of them, obviously. So my thoughts were, instead of getting two of the adventure packs, I mean, I'm not really concerned about having a standard Hand of Fate uh, in the future. Those probably will register as the same item anyway. Uh, it's kind of been disappointing how some of those unique items kind of don't really maintain that as we progress. <laughs> Uh, so what I did, I bought the Adventure Pack to get Legendary Blades, and then as you can see here by this video, I got him in the Triple Pack. Will we see a single release? Possibly at some point way later on, you know, that comes to mind with like Wind Up uh, from the previous game. You know, you could see something similar to that, but uh, same thing. I've always wondered if they might release blades as a single but i'm thinking they wouldn't or they wouldn't have put him in the you know adventure pack but i don't know who knows what's going to happen all i know is what i know based on what is currently available <laughs> that means that the only way to get legendary blades again is in the legendary nightmare express adventure pack so that's what i did and then i went to triple packer out here to pick up this guy because like i said in my opinion i would rather pay and get a tidal wave gilgrunt and a second torch as opposed to get double the adventure pack content so that's just me some of you may prefer to do it the other way that said uh this is just an awesome pose i'm super stoked about it 24.99 is your price most places 25.99 at toys r us granted they've usually got a pretty sweet deal you can pick up uh, like I said, I've had this thing since launch day, and I'm glad to have it unboxed. I've got everything unboxed now, and uh, that is a pretty big accomplishment, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, Chase McCain is hidden. Uh, he's not super hard to find, but it is pretty funny. And in addition to that, I also kind of put like a little Easter egg in here. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, it's not far from Chase. If you figure out what that is, feel free to post up about it as well. That said, this is Blade's this is torch uh this of course if you didn't know uh, i know some of you may have trouble with this one since you haven't seen much of them uh tidal wave kill crowns but uh that's the triple pack content and characters you get these three figures you get the stat cards you get the sticker sheets and uh if for most of you you're probably going to get a uh second version of blades if you're a torch fan you can pick up her single pack and have one for each path etc but uh, that said, that is the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. My personal site is oneofweasom.com. An extension of that is the Skylander Club forum. Skylanderclub.com slash forum. Check it out. If you like it, sign up. We would absolutely love to have you. Uh, make sure you are subscribed here as I acquire more uh, traps, more Skylanders trap team memorabilia and characters and accessories and all kinds of comics and whatnot. As uh, soon as I get it in, I'll be able to unbox it, get it on the go. I will be inspired because I won't have a giant stack of things waiting to be unboxed. Uh, so that's pretty exciting for me personally. Uh, in addition to the 
In addition to that, you're going to get to see all the introductions, the upgrades, the playthrough. I'm streaming a uh, co-op playthrough with my nephew. Uh, all kinds of Skylanders content coming, in addition to some other pretty cool stuff already on the channel and planned for future. So be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. For myself, the Lone Series 4 Skylander, Tidal Wave, Gilgrunt, Air Element, Newlander Blades, and Fire Element, Newlander Torch. Thanks for watching. Uh, it looks like Torch is pointing uh, off to, I guess, what would that be, your upper left or my right? Anyway, she's pointing in that direction, and ironically, uh, Blades was looking in that direction, so I kind of put Gilgrun in here. So uh, I don't know what she sees, but whatever it is, it is behind my head. Uh, so hopefully it's not a giant talking head of chaos. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know what you prefer. Uh, how you handled this situation. How you went about obtaining blades. If you went the legendary adventure pack route. The triple pack route to save money. Uh, if you prefer the single packs. What your thoughts are on Gilgrunt being the only series for. And uh, we will take it from there. That said, thanks for watching. And uh, we will catch you back here next time.